Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home, my husband doesn't welcome to Gen TV. All right, this is your daily tarot reading. I, uh, I want to do this about, I don't know, I, I, uh, I was having dreams last night, they were peculiar dreams. Uh, I want to do this about cheating. Are they cheating on you? Um, uh, I was having dreams about not specifically my experiences, but um, kind of going around those with the, the people that were involved. Different scenarios and situations, but same same people from from my past. So, sort of feel like okay, let's 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 take a look at this then for you. Are they are they cheating on you? And if they are, let's take a look at the situation and what you can do about it. Sometimes it's not so simple as walking away. I know that. So are they cheating on you? So here's the vibe. Your feelings. What you don't know. What you can do about it. Near future. And your outcome. I want to do a yes, no, direct answer. I, I kind of think they are, to be honest with you. But uh, direct yes or no, are they cheating on you? Interesting. One more, please. They're direct yes or no, they're looking to what they can get away with. And I think that they think if they don't actually do the actual deed, they're getting away with other things. Which in my mind is a yes. They're bored. And want to have some fun. So yeah, they're looking to see what they can get away with. Technically, if we're going to go technically... I, I, how, how do I put this cleanly? <laughs> they haven't done certain things, but if you were to know about what they have done, I think that you would probably still think it's a yes. I, uh, I was once married to somebody and then we got divorced and, uh, he got a new girlfriend and, you know, I didn't really know about that and we continued to, you know, do the things that married people do, only we weren't married anymore. And uh, then I found out about her and I said, I don't think she's going to be very happy about that. And he's like, well, it's not cheating if it's with you because we used to be married. And I, yeah, I don't think she's going to see it that way. That was in his mind that he wasn't because we used to be married. Uh, 
I think that this person here is 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 taking similar liberties uh, on technicalities like that that they think means that they're not. They're seeing what they can get away with. Um, so the overall vibe here is that they're just like, wee, having a great time, living the carefree. I don't think they really care about the consequences. Your feelings, we've got the three of wands here, and this is, this is a sort of, you know, you see that he's standing there wistfully looking out to uh to his ship can you can you see it he's standing there wistfully looking out to his ship like uh what's coming i i kind of feel like that's you this is your you're you're wondering if they're cheating on you and that's kind of your your full sight you're seeing it you're seeing it coming. This person sees what's coming and, and uh, getting prepared for it. It tends to be a good card, that one. That's the thing. So I'm kind of thinking what you're seeing coming, even though it, it, it hurts, is for the best. Um, this is what you don't know. Nine of Pentacles. Let's take a look at that. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for what you don't know? This is a card of wealth, luxury, opulence. Hey, Barry. You never come in here. What do you want? You never come and say hi to me, Barry. This is my oldest cat, Barry. I say oldest, he's only about three. I get zero affection from him. He only comes in to say hi to me when he wants something. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? What you don't know. Excuse me, hiccups. I'm, I've got my screen on because I'm I'm gonna do a uh, a new thing. I I have <laughs> got some runes here for you, and I don't really know them that well yet. So I've got a little uh, thing on the screen that tells me what the runes mean. So I have to keep it on. Um, I'm. Uh, I think that your person has somebody in mind. It's all sort of fantasy and and uh, things that are coming to my mind. I mean, this person might not be having a midlife crisis, but it's sort of uh, the the kind of thing that happens during a midlife crisis, like uh, detaching from emotionally from what you have because you want more you know that you want this it's all fantasy trying to see what you can get away with because they like when when people are going through their midlife crisis they don't really want to get rid of what they've got they just sort of want to uh fool around have a good time and uh, feel alive again because they, they're bored. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me what else you don't know. It's basically boredom that's pushing this person to this. You need to not be uh, avoiding this. Or when the conversations come up or, or you know, uh, say, I don't want to talk about it. it. It's, this is going to, we've got the tower in verse. This is, it's, 
it's sort of a disaster waiting to happen in a way. It's inevitable, the, the way they're feeling about all of this. Sort of inevitable. I think that, that they don't want to lose what they've got with you though. They're scared of that. They don't want that much change. They just want a bit of excitement, a bit of fancy. What can you do about it? Well, basically, these are the new beginnings. This is the time for you to transform, let go of the past. What can you do about it? Clarify. Get your ducks in a row. Get your ducks in a row, my love. And it, it sort of looks like your confidence has been knocked. It comes a point in your life sometimes, you know. I, I mean, this is what happened to me. I, I, my, my husband was very bored, <laughs> and uh, uh, having a great time behind my back, and and I was just being a mom and and loving that, and not really focusing on on my relationship. You know, he was away on tour all the time, really. So I, I didn't really have. Uh, have him there to entertain so I was just like well I'm just gonna be a mom then and uh yeah I didn't dress for uh for a relationship I I dressed for comfort and uh you know maybe I'll let myself go whatever but I was happy you know uh, comfortable <laughs> in the comfort zone this sort of looks like that's kind of what you've, you've gone to here and, and it's sort of like, well, you, your confidence is a bit knocked because you weren't, you know, you feel like you're not what you were, but uh, that's not a bad thing. You know, we transform and, and we become, you know, from the youthful kids that we were, we become women, we become men, you know, we become, something well you know wine's really great when it matures right it tastes a whole lot better <laughs> you know um wisdom comes with that um and um this is all kind of saying don't be afraid of leaving behind what's not good for you anymore. This person's obviously going off in, in another direction. So why can't you? You know, it, it doesn't have to be a, a terrible thing that this is ending. There's a lot of pentacles here for you though. I really feel like that's you getting your ducks in a row. What's coming in the near future? It, it, I just sort of want to say that this, this, is, this is an opportunity for you. What's coming in the near future? They're going to get angry at you for making a decision that doesn't suit them. They, uh, when they started all this, they didn't care about the consequences. And uh, consequences are happening. And now they're like, oh, no. This is 
is not what I want and you're the bad guy for saying no. But I want this and this all at the same time and you're saying well no that doesn't suit me it's not good enough for me I I, uh, I have other plans that involve me being happy and uh, yeah I think that they're a little bit angry about that not your problem so the outcome here We've got the Six of Swords. You're moving forwards. You're moving on to other things. New life. Leaving behind the past. And, and it's, uh, you see all these swords in the boat? Just take it easy. Don't rock the boat too much. Just take your journey slowly. And, uh, leave this behind they're going their way you're going your way change is happening they're gonna resent the change they don't want the change even though they're the ones sorry I'm getting comfortable in my trail they're the ones that instigated this change by having their midlife even if it isn't they you know they got bored and they decided they wanted to have wanted to have some fun they're the ones who implemented instigated this change so they can't be angry at you for it if there's kids involved like you've got a family and, and you are worried about walking away from this because of stability um for them It'll be all right. It'll be fine. Things will be a little bit more peaceful, to be honest. All right, let's pull you some, uh, wherever I put them. Here we go. Oh, there we go. This is the one I actually wanted. Let's put you some oracle cards. Confidence is the key to your success. And I think that your confidence has ever so slightly been knocked. And uh, it's time to take a look at yourself with different eyes. Yep, you might be a little bit older. You might be a little bit wider. But damn, baby, you look good in a whole different way. I'm gonna pull you, sorry, this is my, my, my runes. I'm gonna pull you a rune. I've got my little rune cheat sheet there. What's your rune for the day? Pull it on the left hand, okay. That's this one in reverse. What have we got? P in reverse. What is that? Uh, hang on can't find it oh there we go stubborn foolhardy doesn't heed advice folly <laughs> this is a this is a, a protection rune let me pull you a clarifier Clarify, please. Don't know much about runes yet. Um, strength. Promotion, health, distant influences. Distant influences. You know, I was kind of thinking this could be a travel kind of thing as well. Somebody, somebody from far lands away, uh, helping you make a decision. Oh, could be me. I'm in London. Am I far from you? Helping you kind of decide what to do about this. He'd, he'd advice here is, uh, you know, 
you are gonna be okay without this person. So heed that advice. You look amazing. Heed that advice. You've blossomed, you've grown, you've matured into this wonderful being that you are now. Embrace it. Look at you and, and, and just see how amazing you are. I'm gonna take this into extended. If you really wanna watch it about how does this person really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? Is there anything that they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. Thank you for joining me. See you later.